Fresh off the news that we hear the Oakland A's are fumbling the bag in Las Vegas, where the state now is saying they only want to give up $195 million in public funds rather than the $395 the A's are asking for, Oakland Mayor Shang Tao was on our midday live show. And she actually said that she would welcome the A's back to the negotiating table. Let's take a listen to hear what she had to say. Since the A's seem to be struggling a little bit right now with their Vegas move, uh, if the team's owners want to stay here, or if another group were to buy the team, how quickly could you break ground on Howard Terminal once a deal is agreed upon? You know, once the deal is agreed upon, mind you, the Howard Terminal, it's already entitled. And so I want the A's to stay here. If the owners called us back to say, let's get back to the table, we are very close to a deal. If someone wants to buy the A's and, uh, and that happens, we are very close to a deal. And so um, I would say that we would be able to break ground as soon as possible um, in regards to you know, the process after having that deal, uh, whatever that looks like. It could be two years, right? And, um, and, it, and if we do have a deal, this is something that I would want to expedite because it'll be great for the city. It'll be great for not just the fan base, but for our economic uh, uh, potential as well. Those are some of the strongest comments we've heard from the mayor since all of this blew up. Really, honestly, I've been saying this from the get-go, but walking away from the table was a brilliant move by Oakland and Mayor Shang Tao because the A's are now splitting hairs over 195 to $395 million in Las Vegas. They're struggling to get a deal with just 20 days left in the legislature. And if they can't get those funds, you will see the direct impact that it had that Oakland would not be allowed to be used for leverage to get a better deal for the A's in Las Vegas. Then what happens? Do they sell? Do they come back to the table? Who knows at this point? But I will tell you one thing. <laughs> the A's are now looking at $195 million in funds from Las Vegas. Guess what? In Oakland, they had already raised $375 million to fix the infrastructure using federal grants and other grants. They had already agreed with the county to split the costs to raise money to help pay back the on-site infrastructure costs at Howard Terminal. At this point, they've blown up an entire deal for 55 acres of waterfront property, for nine acres of property on the Strip with no ancillary development, and now far less money than Oakland had already raised to keep the A's rooted here. What are you without roots in something? The A's are just wishy-washy all over the place at this point in time. In Las Vegas, they don't have a deal yet. They're switching sites. They're looking chaotic. They're running out of time. If they do want to come back to Oakland, it's interesting to hear that the mayor says that she would take that call. Listen up. If the A's or anybody that owns the A's wants to build at Howard Terminal and they just want to build a ballpark, they could get that done rather quickly. If they want to then add residential later, that would be the far simpler way to do it. But to try to do it all at once or try to say that you have to have the residential in order to pay for the stadium here and then go to Las Vegas and say, oh, no, 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 we're fine. We're just going to build the stadium. None of it adds up at this point. So will the A's ever come back to the table? Who knows? But within 20 days, we might be seeing if they're striking out or fumbling the bag in Las Vegas.